So let's look at how we can write a function. So I'm going to create um, a demo called function demo1.py. And so let's say we wanted to print hello world. We would do it something like this. And if we ran that, it would work just fine. And, but let's say that there was quite a number of lines that we wanted to print. And let's say there's this big load of stuff that we wanted to print here. So what we might do is um, turn these into strings, and we might put print statements in front of them. Maybe this is some sort of long introduction to a program. Lorem Ipsum, by the way, is kind of uh, placeholder text that we often use when we want to uh, print or we want to test uh, how a program will work with a lot of text, but we don't want to necessarily make anything up. So we use this Lorem Ipsum statement. And um, I'll get rid of this one. This is enough. So, you know, just the point being that we have this big bunch of uh, stuff they want to type. And we want to display this at different places in our program. Well, we could copy and paste that everywhere, but that would be less than ideal. What we can do instead is we can create a um, function. And the way we do that is we use the def for define keyword. Um, and let's say that this is going to be our header. So uh, we'll say, usually I want my function name. And just like you pick a variable name, you pick whatever you want for the function name. And I'm going to call it display header. And then we, you have to have parentheses after your name. So you must always have parentheses. Later on, we'll find that we can pass things to our function. But for now, just use empty parentheses. And then you put the code that... You, you know, we put a, a colon and then we put a block of code. So the way this works is that basically this block of code belongs to this function name. And you, and so right now, if I were to run this, nothing will actually happen. The function's defined. But notice that nothing is displayed here, not even the hello world. And that's because when you define a function, it doesn't actually execute any of these statements. It just says, hey, associate this block of code with this function name. And when you see that function name being called, then do something. So now I can say display header, open close parentheses, and run it. And now it will print all of that stuff out. Now, the other thing I can do is I can actually put three of these and it will print all three of them out. Now, it's hard to see what's going on here. So I'm going to comment out all of this. And so we're going to make our, our header function a little simpler, you know, rather than doing this much printing. We'll just make this function print hello world and then we'll see that every time we call it it will execute that and you can see here it ran three times if i were to repeat this six times we could repeat it six times so the nice thing is that once you define this function you can use it wherever you want and it will work you can even put this in a loop so we could do this you know, for uh, I in range 
six display header. And you can see it displays it six times. Or if I did this ten times, it does this. Now, obviously, you could just put this print world in place with this function. But we're going to discover that as our functions become more complicated, it's really nice to break out the complexity in a separate place in a function and then just call these functions <coughs> inside of our code. So let's make this look more like a header. You know, welcome to my program or welcome to super do stuff 3000. Best stuff doing program in the multiverse. And then maybe we'll just put a empty print line just to get us an additional line. And then you can see it's printing it all three times. Now, obviously, you wouldn't normally want to display your header three times. But um, <clears throat> we often will have our function definitions at the top of our program. And no, you know, until you actually call the function, it doesn't do anything. So let me review that again. If I put, if I don't call this function, I just commented that out. Notice it doesn't do anything. It defined the function, but it didn't call it. You have to call the function before the function will actually execute. So why would we do this? Well, you know, why couldn't we just put the print here? What we're going to find is that we can use the names of the functions to actually be kind of our pseudocode. You can see here, this is a meaningful name, display header. You know what it does, and you don't have to see all this detail in the main part of my program. So eventually, the main part of my program will just read like a bunch of declarative statements, you know, display header, get input from user, do calculations, uh, display results, you know, things like that. And so it's, you're going to find that one of the purposes of functions is to to take complexity, move it out of the main part of your program, and abstract it basically underneath a function name. And even if you know you're doing something simple, a lot of times you're going to find you'll want to move things into functions just because it makes the code more readable. So that's an example of how you can write a you know, a simple function that doesn't take any inputs. It doesn't really return anything. It just outputs uh, a, um, a result. Thank you.